Multiplex and immunohistochemistry is a fairly new technique. I believe that it builds on the back of uh, a need that standard uh, IHC does quite poorly and that's an ability to delineate multiple cells within a sample. And where I think multiplex immunohistochemistry fits very well is in the diagnostic test of pdl one Traditionally, the assessment of pdl one by routine IHC is extremely difficult because of these intrinsic macrophages that are within these samples. And the ability to assess multiple biomarkers within the sample, uh, as I say, allows the delineation of specific cells and, and where the expression of those biomarkers are truly coming from, which uh, by traditional IHC can confound the pathology assessment. So in routine clinical practice, the approved methodology is by standard DAB immunohistochemistry. If we were able to validate this test diagnostically, it would massively improve the ability of pathologists to accurately diagnose the specimens. Currently, the clinical cutoffs are so sharp that a 1% threshold would uh, determine whether or not a patient is suitable for treatment. And that can be extremely difficult, especially in large resection specimens. Uh, and again, the ability of multiplex immunofluorescence to, to aid that determination, I think, is far more powerful. The limitations of, of multiplexing are the antibody clone of choice. So the antibody clones that are used in routine diagnostics are provided by several companies. These are linked to their own platforms and unsurprisingly to their own drugs. Taking these off platform, which is a requirement for multiplex immunohistochemistry, uh, can well, it actually invalidates the process for diagnostic determination. You can do it as a lab-developed test, but extensive clinical trials are probably needed to, to accurately determine whether or not multiplex immunofluorescence impacts uh, patient uh, treatment. Uh, there is a, a, a paper uh, currently released by David Rim that uh, indicates that multiplex immunofluorescence has a, a better ability to be able to determine which patient, patients will respond and, and which ones won't. Um, and I believe that larger clinical trials are, are underway or should be very soon to be able to answer that question. So at the end of the talk that uh, we've just, uh, just delivered, we put forward a, a proposal for triaging pdl one cases. And our proposal is that we would apply standard image analysis to the routine IHC slides. And in cases of diagnostic difficulty around those clinical thresholds, we can then apply multiplexing. Um, this will help the pathologist to, uh, to delineate those cells and more accurately determine the patient category. So I think that's probably what we can expect uh, image analysis and multiplexing to bring to molecular diagnostics.